Hello everybody. Welcome to Simplified in 5. Today we are going to talk about casting in C++. So let's first see what is casting. So it's basically making a variable of one data type uh, to act like another data type. Like you want to make a float uh, variable to act like an integer variable. But it's, it's also called as type casting. So it can be done implicitly by compil compiler or a programmer can explicitly specify the casting to convert a variable of one data type into another. Now let's see what are the types of casting. So C++ supports for four types of cast and we will be seeing each of them in detail in the following videos. So the first is const cast. So basically const cast is used to cast away the constants. The static cast is used for implicit type conversions. Third one is a very rarely used reinterpret cast which is used at low level cast uh, with bits, bits reinterpretation and it's used mostly for the conversion between integers and pointers so and the widely used is dynamic cast so it's basically used for shape down casting classes or objects in an inheritance hierarchy C++ also supports old style cast which are uh, widely used in C so the C style cast uh, looks like uh, the example you can see here and then there is a functional style cast which is also used in C so C++ also supports these old style casts. Now let's see what are the five key things uh, you should be knowing about uh, casting in C++. So when you should be using casting? Basically only when there is no alternative, then only you should use the casting. So if you want to force the type of uh, outcome of a mathematical operation, like you're dividing two integers and you want to uh, convert that result into float, then maybe you can use casting. So the I mean you should use it very rarely but it's a still an important term so what uh, you should prefer while uh, using casting so basically you should prefer C++ style cast or C style cast because you can uh, easily search them within the code as well as the purpose for these casts is very uh, accurately and narrowly defined so when you should be when you are using casting you should try to hide the cast within the functions so that users of your code don't need to cast uh, on their own and you have the control of uh, casting operation uh, the disadvantages of casting would be you know obviously it subverts the set type system and uh, you could uh, end up having unexpected results so you should keep an eye for these kind of implicit castings that are done by the compiler uh, when you're reading any news code also so the casting can get a lot of trickier uh, when you're using and uh, when you're reading an existing code uh, the alternative forecasting yeah there are alternative forecastings and uh, you can mostly avoid the casting by using uh, better designs like if you are uh, having implicit conversions uh, from the standard data types to user defined objects uh, you can avoid those by creating explicit constructors similarly you can avoid uh, dynamic casts by using uh, virtual functions so basically these are the five key things uh, you should be knowing about casting so uh, thanks for watching and hope